Hey everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to show you how to integrate ClickUp with Google Sheets. Let's begin. Now, the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials. If this is your first time on Google Sheets, I want you to click the sign up option. And from here, just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go. Integrating ClickUp with Google Sheets can help you manage and analyze your ClickUp data within Google Sheets, enabling better reporting and data manipulation. While ClickUp doesn't offer a direct native integration with Google Sheets, of course, we can always use third-party tools like we're going to show you later. But the idea is once you are on your ClickUp account, all right? Want to make sure you need to go to the quick um, actions menu here. Click that and go to the app center. Now here, search for the app. As you can see, there's no Google Sheets in here. All right. If you type that app not found. The idea is, for example, you want to export specific files here in ClickUp. There should be an option here on the view where you can, you can embed the Google Sheet and sync your spreadsheets right here. All right. And as you can see, all they have to do is put in the URL and of course, embed the HTML for your Google Sheets account. All right. That's one way for you to integrate ClickUp with Google Sheets. Now, there's an option here on the right side corner. Click on the, uh, no, left side column of your dashboard. Click on settings and on the uh, spaces. There should be an option for imports and exports. All right. You can choose to import using the spreadsheet. You can even start exporting using your spreadsheet as well. All right. You can download your export data. And of course, for example, we're going to start import, import using a spreadsheet here in the uh, ClickUp and import a spreadsheet. And from here, you can import data from file or manually um, enter your data here using the CSV downloaded from your Google Sheets. Now, I'm switching over to my spreadsheet right now now as you can see i'm going to download this file using the comma separated values or dot csv once it's downloaded i'm switching over to the uh click up and just click on the upload data from file and once you've done that it's going to be processing so these are some ways for you to integrate click up with um google sheets all right and once you're happy with that all i have to do is click on ok and the next platform that we are going to use is using Zapier. Now you can connect ClickUp to Google, to Google Sheets and automate your work by clicking this orange button and have all these endless possibilities. Click that and you would be forwarded to a new page wherein we're going to rename our Zapier. Now if you are a fan of our channel, you know that we covered so many Zapier automation here in our channel that you might want to check out. You see, there's a lot, all right? And if you haven't already, you might want to click on the sign up button. So you are going to be notified whenever we upload some new contents. Remember, guys, we upload content on a daily basis to help you solve your problems quickly. Now, I'm switching over to the click up or the Zapier, rather. Now, here, we're going to select the event for a click up. For example, we need to choose a trigger. Are you going to use the triggers when a new comment is added to a task and click up or you can choose it triggers when a new folders are created so it doesn't matter what to choose depending on your needs and goals in my case i'm going to be choosing this one the account is deep laps i'm going to click on continue and as you can see you can need to choose the workspace and that's going to be deep laps how to tutorials click on this space that's going to be deep laps for the user, maybe I'm going to be choosing this one for now. List is going to be a 
imported from CSV or maybe this and task is gonna be um right here users is gonna be a deep labs and of course you can fetch all task data by true i'ma click on continue all right you can test the trigger to make sure that it's um successful because when you collaborate on data analysis and reporting in real time with team members using google sheets sharing collaboration features is a handy tool all right test the trigger you can always maintain a backup of your clickup data in google sheets for additional security and archival purposes and from here just click on the new comment and that's that all right now on the google sheets we need to click on the event for example are you going to use on copying the worksheet for example it creates a new worksheet by copying an existing worksheet or are you going to choose they creates a spreadsheet it creates a new spreadsheet choose from a blank spreadsheet and copy of an existing one or one with headers i'm going to click this and i'm going to click on continue and i'm going to enter something like this i'm going to choose the value for now i'm going to be choosing this one all right on the headers i'm going to enter this i'm going to click on continue and and from here as you can see when you integrate click up with other data sources in google sheets for a holistic view of your operations it would include all the data and of course other metrics you can now use google sheets to analyze trends and make forecasts based on historical clickup data helping for future planning and resource allocation all right now once you are successful integrating this up you can now track project milestones and deadlines more effectively by integrating clickup with the uh, project timeline here on your workspace and task because google sheets can build dynamic reports that updates automatically based on the latest reporting data metrics as you can see clickup and google sheets can provide a powerful way to enhance your data management reporting and analysis capabilities making it easier to work with and leverage your ClickUp data for better decision making and project oversight. And earlier, we have imported and exported ClickUp data into Google Sheets for easy sharing, manipulation, or integration with other systems that do not support the direct ClickUp integration. You see, I find it very helpful when I'm working with multiple team members within a certain project or an organization. And that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again in the next one.